It should never have been closed. Ask almost anyone about the Lynn and Hunt Stanton Railway and those six words would be repeated at the merest mention of the line. Nevertheless, it was closed and just before the holiday season began in May 1969. There were rumours of bureaucratic bungling, even doctoring of figures. The reason for the closure is now immaterial. The fact is the Lynn and Hunt Stanton Railway ceased to exist. Since the closure of the line nearly 25 years ago, a lot has changed in West Norfolk. The population, like the rest of the country, has grown uh, and along with it, of course, the inevitable increase in traffic. Now, the roads in West Norfolk cannot and never will be able to take these increases. As I've said, the population has increased and also with it the weekenders who spend their working days in the big cities and uh, the very important holidaymakers who come to this beautiful part of the country for their vacations. Apart from just a few, all traces of the country's railway system that was closed in the 1960s has disappeared. The time has been kind to the Lynn Hunt Stanton route. A large percentage of the track bed is still free of major obstacles. Lines could be diverted away from some of the stations that still exist. Hunt Stanton would need a new station anyway. I believe a line could be relayed and that this could once again be a very important branch to our railway system. The Kings Lynn and West Norfolk Borough Planning Office have proposed the protection of the track bed in case it's needed once again as a railway line. So now all that is needed is the enthusiasm, the drive, the commitment and the money to once again bring to life this most important part of our railway system that should never have been closed in the first place.